Hi, my name is Teresa Koblack, and the other day I had posted this painting to social media and had such a great response, I thought I'd show you how I did it. So these are a couple of paintings of the waves, and what I'm doing is I'm painting this on the Nora paper. This comes in at 8 inch, and what I will be using for inks today are the T-Rex inks. So I'm not sure if you've seen these out there. I picked these up on Amazon and I really like them. The colors are just vibrant. So first thing we're going to go ahead and do is you want to grab a larger brush. The brush that I'm using today is made by Princeton and it is a pointed filbert. So this is a number four. If you don't have a brush like that, you can use a round brush. This one's a number three. You want to really have something a number three or bigger. So let's go ahead and get started here. First thing we're going to be using is the 99% alcohol that's in our little bowl here. I also have it in my container in case I need it. Always to liven up my inks, I can just give a little squeeze of that alcohol in there and that will wake my inks right back up. So we'll start with the sunset portion first and what we're going to do is just grab on to a little bit of that 99% alcohol and I'm actually using their orange because I actually like it a little bit better for the sunset than the yellow. I'm just putting that on there. I'm going to bring it across. I am going to bring my wave this way, so I'm not concerned about going all the way over to the page that way. But I do want to come over this way to the edge. Grab a little bit of that pink. And on the T-Rex inks, there's not a lot of colors. This is the um, starter kit that I got. And it has, I believe, 11 colors. And then the uh, blending solution that they have. Which, again, I am just using the 99% alcohol. I kind of like that there. Take my page and tip it up a little. We'll go ahead and add a little bit more of that orange. And I just have the 99% alcohol and a little bit of that orange. Give it another tip. And just tap it on my paper towel a little bit. There we go, we got a beautiful sunset. So while that is drying down, what we're going to do is go ahead and start putting in our wave. And I'm going to grab some of that 99% alcohol and a little bit of their Glacier Blue. And you can see that's a really pretty blue. I'm leaving a little bit of line just because I know that other ink is still wet. And I'll come back to it in a minute. So I know I'm going to bring my wave up about right here. And I'm going to bring it over so I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Grabbing onto a little bit of that alcohol, just bring in the ink that's on the paper over. Grab a little bit more of that glacier blue.
We'll go ahead and grab a little teal. just have our horizon line in there the other inks have dried down pretty decent so we'll have that horizon line right there you can see it's kind of building a land base for us that's fine we'll just let it work its magic while that's doing that we'll go ahead and grab onto a little bit of that teal then bring it up and I'm not worried about the colors getting in right here because the Sun is reflecting off of our wave so it will have some color into it I'm going to grab a different blue. This is their deep sea blue. And I'm just doing light strokes. Just kind of letting the ink work for you. kind of going along you don't want to add all the color in at once grab onto a little more of that teal And we don't want to add the colors in from our sunset yet because we don't want to muddy our painting. So I just have that wave coming up, splashing over. Clean off my brush. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a little more of that glacier blue. Just bring it down here a little. This paper works really nice because it's already round for you, but if you don't have any of this round paper, you can always do this painting on a square piece, or you can take a square piece and cut it down. Just splashing it over, trying to make it like that wave is coming right on over. I'm kind of liking that. So let's go ahead and add in some colors now from our sunset. First I need to add a little more alcohol into my bowl because I forgot to fill it all the way up. And we'll go ahead and add in some colors. Now there's a couple of ways you can go about this. You can take a Q-tip and you can dip it into some of your alcohol, wipe it down a little, 
and bring out a little bit of that blue. And the reason I'm saying bring out, you're pulling out that ink, is because if I put yellow on top of that blue, it's just going to make it green. And I don't mind a little bit of green, but I don't want a lot of green in my water. The other thing you can do is take one of these little guys. This is a fantastic, it comes in a set of six or eight. I think maybe eight. You can actually take this and pull out some of this ink with this piece. And these are nice because you can reuse them over and over. Wipe it off on your paper towel. Otherwise, another nice tool is the alcohol blending pen and this here has a tip on it and the alcohol is in the container and so you can use either end and you do it basically the same way so you take and pull it out nice thing on this one is you don't have to keep dipping into uh, your alcohol so let's go ahead and we're just going to pull out some patches. And if you don't own any of these, you can do it with a brush. You just have to be a little bit more careful. So you would take your brush and pull it out. And then we'll go ahead and add some pinks in. And that works great too. So I don't want them just sitting there. I'm taking and I wipe off my brush on the paper towel. And I just want my sky to look like it's reflecting downward. So I'm adding some of those colors from the sky coming down. And then I want to add them into my wave too. So my wave will be picking up. And you can see right there we got a lot of green going on. Again, I don't mind a little bit of green, but I don't want a ton of green. So I'm just pulling out a little bit of that ink. just to give myself some clean reflections. And then I'll go back with my paintbrush, grab a little bit of that ink, and just dabbing it on. Then I'm coming back, cleaning my brush down And if I get too much, I can come back and add a little bit more of that blue in. Or if I don't like it, I can wipe it out and put some of that blue in. Just adding a little bit more of that sky color into my water. I'll go ahead and pick up a little bit more of that glacier blue. Don't want too much. Just going to kind of work on this a little bit here. And then I'm going to bring it up and over. Grab a little bit of that teal. We'll go ahead and add some pink in this area maybe maybe a little bit right here so 
So it's up to you how much color you want in. I want my wave to look like it's rolling. And if you want to keep it lighter, too, you can do that. You can just stay with the lighter blues. I just have 99% alcohol on my brush right now. Always try to remember to clean off your brush when you're going into a new color. So I'm liking that pretty good there. Now for my little splatters. So you can see I have some little splatters here. And then on this one I have a lot more little splatters. So I did them a little different. On this one here I just touched in my splatters individually with my brush. So of course you know the alcohol ink, it kind of uh, moves in a circle. So I just dabbed those on. On this one here, I took my brush and I just flicked it with my finger. And I really didn't care where the splatters went. I think we're gonna go ahead and do this. So we are gonna do this before we put in our palm trees. The only thing is, is I think I want my wave to come around just a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of that 99% alcohol. I just want a couple more waves really coming out there. I'm just taking my brush in a downward motion. It just has the 99% alcohol, a little bit of ink. I kind of like that. So, on those little splashes, I grab into a color, and this is going to be the blue I'm going to do first, and there's very little ink on here, so I had dabbed it on my paper towel. I'm not going to flick it real hard, just slightly. Just like we have splashes from the wave. Now I can take and pick up a little of the pink and do the same thing. I don't want too much on, so I dab it on my paper towel. And I'm going to tap it really lightly because we don't want to get too carried away with it. And if you're unsure about doing it that way, you can take your brush and dip into the alcohol and just make some dots using your brush. Or you can do it a little both ways to add a few bigger dots. So let's go ahead and do those palm trees now. 
Let me see here. We want a nice thin brush. The brush that I'm using is made by Artist Loft. And again, I keep my black in a separate container. It is the T-Rex black. I'm going to grab on to it and just kind of roll it on the edge here. And we'll go ahead and put in our palm trees. So it's up to you. You can decide, do you want a lot of palms, a little bit of palms? So we're kind of making this the horizon line right here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And we'll bring our palm trees up from there. So maybe we want a cluster of them right here. And then I do like bringing the shadows down into the water. So I take my, uh, my paintbrush and I just roll the edges on the side here because on our palms, we don't want them to get too carried away. Just kind of putting those leaves in. So they don't have to be perfect because you see them really far away. But we want you to know they're palm trees. So again, I'm going to pick up some of that ink. I roll it on the side there. Take and roll it off on my paper towel. And this one's really close to the other and that's fine. And then to paint the palm trees on the bottom on the reflection, I like to turn my painting over. I find it's a lot easier to paint. For me, that is. So I'm just going to do it the same way. You can hear that's still a little tacky. So let yours dry down a little bit more. I'm just putting those leaves in. And it doesn't have to match exactly. Again, it's a little bit tacky. You can see I got a little bit of ink there. Let your painting dry down a little bit better or a little bit longer. Otherwise, you can take a blow dryer to it. When I can, I like to let my inks dry on their own. Let's turn that over. So we got our little palm trees there. I kind of like those. Maybe we'll put some little scruff out there. A little bit of brush. Reflect it down into the water. Bring us a little more brush over here. And you can see I got a little splash there. If that bothers you, you can just take a little bit of ink and smooth it out and blend it into your background. But I'm just going to leave it. It doesn't bother me. 
and just bring a little bit more of that brush that's growing and I think I'll put in a couple more palm trees clean off our sides a little And we'll go ahead and put them down below. That one's pretty big. So we're going to make sure we do them a little bit bigger than the others because I painted them pretty big up here. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Grab a little bit of that 99% alcohol, just put it in to my black. Reason I do that is my black is starting to dry. And let's put some grass right about here. Bring that tree down all the way, maybe a little bit of grass grown by him. So always look up and then look down and make sure that you halfway match. It doesn't have to be perfect, but when you're doing the reflection, you kind of want it to halfway match. And I think we'll go ahead and do another palm here. And we'll go ahead and put his reflection down below. So if you don't have the T-Rex inks, you can do this in the Ranger inks. And just use the brighter colors. But if you get a chance to pick these up, I do like the colors, so I'll turn that over. I do such a better job when I have it turned the right way. It doesn't have to be perfect. He's in the water. And I think I'll put one more tree just because I don't want it to just sitting there side by side like that. Even though out in the wild they could be like that, it's a little more pleasing to the eye to have either a little cluster or a group of three. So we'll go ahead and put one more. We'll put them right about here. Bring his other part down so I don't forget to put that shadow in. And turn that over I think that's looking pretty good what do you think if you like it give me a thumbs up that lets me know that you would like to see more of my tutorials. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I would greatly appreciate it. And again, that lets me know that you'd like to see more of my work.
Also, you can see more of my artwork on Facebook or Instagram, and you're welcome to join me there. And those are both under my name, Teresa Kovlak. Well, I like it. What do you think? Let's go ahead and put down a clean paper towel so you can enjoy that. What do you think? A nice sunset? Good wave? Here's the other ones that I did. I'll just kind of squeeze them in here. It was lots of fun. I hope you had fun watching me paint this. I certainly hope you pull out your inks and give it a try. Again, my name is Teresa Kovlak. Have a great rest of your day and happy painting. Before you go away, I just need to add a quick footnote to this. When you go to put your sealer on your painting, only use the UV archival varnish. I buy mine in a gloss. This is what you need to spray your T-Rex inks with. Now, if you go to use the regular sprays that I use with Ranger, which is usually the Carmen varnish and then the uh, UV resistant, if you use those, it will speckle your painting. It will not work. So take the mistake I made was not taking a little strip of paper, putting some T-Rex inks down, and trying uh, to put my sealer on. So again, before you seal your paintings, you should probably always do a test strip if you're new, using new ink. I made the mistake of not doing it, ruined one of my paintings. So with the T-Rex inks, use the UV archival. Uh, it is a varnish and it does have the UV uh, protector in it. And I do buy mine in the gloss. So that was just, I had to let you know on that. Sorry for adding it to the very, very end, but hopefully you left your video playing and you've seen this. Thanks. Bye-bye.